Hi guys, Robert Iowice from O'Brien Real Estate Bride and checking in again with our sixth edition of the Bayside Property News for 2021, where real estate information is on the house. Oz just have a love affair for news, just like it does for real estate. The effects from Facebook banning and all news and government outlets did clean out some of our congestions in our news feeds, but it has also made it a little bit bland. News and real estate go hand in hand after all. Market insights are important when planning to invest in real estate. The news outlets can drive or drive market confidence and persuade people's motivations. Auctions last Saturday made a comeback after a five day circuit breaker. Auction numbers almost doubled with 754 results posted, with 89% of them reaching a sale. Private sales in the market hit 1,419, which pushed us up to 2,173, a number we don't see that often. Here are the new edits making the headlines this week. Almost in a direct response to the vaccine rollout, Westpac economists have sharply revised upwards forecast, predicting house prices in Sydney could climb up to 20% over the next two years and Melbourne 18%, with a climb of 8% this year, followed by 10% next year. ASX 200 companies are reporting half-year interim profits. 87% of the 85 companies that have reported so far have made profits, with the big trend being aggregate cash holding, being up almost 50%, meaning our wallets are much fuller, more like buyers of real estate and cars at the moment. Iron ore pricing is hitting at a 10 year high, and this week we saw crude oil prices almost hit the 13 month high. But the good news for motorists is that higher the Aussie dollar is softening the petrol prices. And lastly, National Australia Bank has announced a cutting of between 5 to 55 basis points of a number of their fixed mortgages, with NAB's 3 year fixed home loan rate shaved to 1.98%. The volume of transactions across O'Brien in the last week is down approximately 30%. The weekly listing numbers coming to the market were still strong with 99 new listings launching, 71 coming under contract and 66 confirmed sales with a top price of 1580000 Coming up for auction on Saturday the 20th of March at 10.30, 3 Willersby Avenue, Brighton. This property is on its own title. Compact block, low maintenance, situated on 324 square metres of land approximately. This period home renovated just over four years ago. As they say in real estate, position is everything. Being located 200 metres to Bay Street cafes and restaurants, two blocks to the train station, and a walk to the primary and private schools, Church Street and the Bay. This three bedroom, two bathroom, two living area home is a must see and it's open Saturday the 27th of March at 10.15 to 10.45. That's all for the week. I'm Robert Iwis. Have a great week and look forward to seeing you at one of our open for inspections this weekend.